multilingual congregation, teaching English, Hebrew, and Spanish. Prayers and blessings are led by our cantoral team. Many parts are interactive. We all worship together. Traditional greetings are Shabbat Shalom or Gut Shabbat, which means may you have a peaceful Sabbath. And blowing of the shofar. The call to a worship and assembly. Please stand if possible as those trained with the shofar come forward. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky. All the tribes of the land will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with tremendous power and glory. He will send out his angels with a great shofar, and they will gather together his chosen people from the four winds, from one end of heaven. To the Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to hear the call of the shofar. Amen. Thanksgiving for Yeshua. Along with many traditional blessings, we have a renewed covenant blessing, thanking God for giving us the way to salvation in our Messiah, Yeshua. Yeshua walked among us filled with your spirit, the only one who ever fulfilled your Torah. He healed the sick and raised the dead. The multitudes of our people sought his touch. He taught as no man taught. With authority, he brought forth the treasures of the Torah. How the children sought him, the lepers he touched and made clean. How the, <clears throat> how the children, uh, how the despised and outcasts found love and release from their sin. How the hypocrites feared him, whose words uncovered their sin. Despised and rejected, acquainted with grief, he bore the sin of Israel. All we like sheep have gone astray, turned everyone to his own way. Our iniquities were laid upon the king, the sins of the world, his burden to bear. He rose from the dead and opened the way to life everlasting. Praise his name, we are in him. His spirit empowers, new life is ours with joy and peace. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, who has given us Messiah Yeshua, our King. Baru Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher netan lanu, Ederech ha-Yeshua, B'Mashiach, Yeshua, Baru Blessed to you, O Lord, O God, King of the universe, who has given us the way of salvation in Messiah Yeshua. Blessed is he. Amen. And please join me for Mato Ru. Mato Ru. Oh,
day is Shabbat Shalom. Oh come, let us sing for joy to Adonai. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with songs. For Adonai is a great God and great King above all gods. Blessed be his name. And please join me for Mecha Moka. Mecha Moka, Beli Madonai. Mecha Moka, Nedaba Kodesh, Nora Tehi.
Can you all hear me? Okay. That was kind of low. Okay, we're going to be continuing with Lefa Dodi, so if you know it, please join me. Lefa Dodi, we cry to Allah, and we shall not let of Shabbat we receive. Observe and remember the Sabbath day that only God caused us to hear in a single utterance. The Lord is one and his name is one, for his renown, his splendor, and his praise. Come, my beloved, to welcome the, the bride, the presence of Shabbat we receive. Come, my beloved, shake off the dust, arise. Dress in garments of glory, my people, through the son of Jesse, the Bethlehem. Redemption draws near to my soul. Come, my beloved, wake up, wake up, for your light has come. Awaken, awaken, sing a song, for the glory of the Lord is revealed to you. Come, my beloved. Sorry, my voice is a little rough today. Mm -hmm. um, we're continuing with the Amidah, the standing prayer. So if you're not already, please stand if possible. <coughs> Adonai Shephatai Tita Uviya Gitekilatecha My Lord, open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Blessed, Blessed are you, Lord our God, the God of our forefathers. God of Abraham, God of Yitzhak, and God of Yaakov, the great, mighty, and awesome God, the supreme God, who bestows beneficial kindnesses and creates everything, who recalls the kindness of the patriarchs and brings a redeemer to their children's children for his name's sake with love. O King, helper, savior, and shield, blessed are you, O Lord, shield of Abraham. You are eternally mighty, my Lord, the one who restores life from the grave, greatly able to save. He sustains the living with kindness, revives the dead with abundant mercy, supports the fallen, heals the sick, releases the confined and maintains his faith to those asleep in the dust. Who is like you, a master of mighty deeds, and who is comparable to you, O King, who causes death and restores life and makes salvation sprout? And you are faithful to bring back life to the dead. Blessed are you, O Lord, who revives the dead. <coughs> you are holy, and your name is holy, and holy ones praise you every day forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the Holy God. <coughs> uh, please join me for a do. Oh, do let on I Give thanks, 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 give thanks
Continuing with In Kelohino, which is There's None Like Our God. Excuse me a second. So again, please join me. In Kelohino, in Kadoneno, in Kemakeno, in Kemashieno, we Kelohino. King, and there is none like our Savior. Who is like our God? Who is like our Lord? Who is like our King? And who is like our Savior? Let us give thanks to our God. Let us give thanks to our Lord. Let us give thanks to our King. And let us give thanks to our Savior. Blessed be our God. Blessed be our Lord. Blessed be our King. And blessed be our Savior. For you are our God. You are our Lord. You are our King. And you are our Savior. Um, as we continue, please join me in facing east in the direction of Jerusalem as we cover our eyes and be ready before Hashem and recite the Shema. I think it's You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And these words that I command you this day shall be upon your heart, and you shall teach them diligently to your children, and speak of them when you sit at home, when you walk along the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. And you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be the frontlets between your eyes, and you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The entire Torah and the prophets hang on these two commandments. <coughs> remain standing with me as we continue with the Avenue. <coughs> Yeah, that's a young, yeah, that's a young. 
Praise the Master of all, to ascribe greatness to the author of creation, for he made us unlike the nations of the lands, and has not placed us like the families of the earth. He has not made our portion like theirs, and our lot like all their multitudes. And we bend the knee and bow, and acknowledge our thanks before the King over kings, the Holy One. Blessed be he. He stretches out heaven and establishes earth's foundation, and the seat of his glory is in the heavens above, and the presence of his power is in the most exalted heights. He is our God, there is none other. True is our King, there is nothing beside him, as it is written in his Torah. And you shall know this day and take to heart that the Lord, he is God. In the heavens above and on the earth below, there is none other. And it is said, the Lord shall be king over all the world. On that day, the Lord will be one and his name one. Good morning, uh, good Sh Shabbos. Uh, I wasn't ready for this, <laughs> but like his word says, be ready in season and out of season. Amen. So here we go, Amen. in his name. Adon Olam Asher Mala Beteren Kol Yitzinibra Lehev Nasa Behesoko, Asai Mele, Shemonika, Beahare, Kilo Pako, Levado, Shimlo Nora, Behu Paya, Behu Hove, Behu Ye, Ehi, Ehara, Behu Ehat, Behin Shane. Leham Shilo, Leham Bira, Beli Reishi, Beli Tachi, Beho Elohaos, Beham Isra, Behu Eli, Behe Wali, Betu Keli, Beet Sara, Behu Nisi, Kumanosi, Benakosi, Beyomikra, Beyako, Aki Huji, Bein Ishan, Beaira, Bein Ruhi, Gebi Yati, Adonai, Velo Ira. Master of the universe, who reigned before any form was created when creation came about by, by his will. Then as king was his name proclaimed to be, and after all has ceased to be, he alone will reign in awesomeness. And he was, and he is, and he shall be eternally in splendor. And he is first, and there is no second to compare to him, to be his equal, without beginning and without end. His is the power and dominion, and He is my God, my Amen. living Redeemer, and the rock of my pain in times of trouble. Hallelujah. And, and He is my banner and a refuge for me, the portion of my cup in the day I call upon Him. In His hands I entrust my spirit. In the time I sleep, 
or am awake, and with my spirit, my body, the Lord is with me, and I shall not fear. Next is Besham Ru. Besham Ru Bene Israel, Eh Hashaba, Hey not so, Eh Hashaba, Ledora Tambari Olam. Besham Ru Bene Israel, Eh Hashaba, Hey not so. Et hasha ba le dora tamberi olam. Bene ubein, bene Israel, bene Israel, oti hile olam. Besham ru bene Israel, et hasha ba he so, et hasha ba le dora tamberi olam. Ki shed shavayim, asa donai, asa donai, e hashamayim, be haaretz, bet shamu bene Israel, e hashaba, e lasso, e hashaba, le dorotam berit olam. Ubayom hashbi, Shabbat by Nafash, Shabbat by Nafash, Shabbat by Nafash, Beshamu ben Israel, Et Hashaba, Hey Lazo, Et Hashaba, Ledora Tamberit Olam, Beshamu ben Israel, Et hashaba, hey lotso, et hashaba, let Doroth and Berry all on. The children of Israel shall keep the Shabbat, observing it throughout their generation as an everlasting covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever, for in six days, the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. Okay, next is Belo uh, Netoto. You did not give it, O Lord, our God, to the nations of the lands, nor, nor did you make it thy inheritance, our King of the worshipers of graven idols. For to Israel, your people, have you given it in love to the seed of Yaakov, whom you have chosen. The people that sanctified the seventh, they will, be, they will all be satisfied and delighted from your goodness. And the seventh, you found favor in it and sanctified it. Most coveted of days, you called it a remembrance of the act of creation. Our God and the God of our fathers, may you be pleased with our rest. Sanctify us with your commandments and grant our share in your Torah. Set of, satisfy us from your goodness and gladden us with your salvation and purify our hearts to serve you sincerely. Our Lord, our God, with love and favor, grant us your holy Shabbat as a heritage and may Israel the sanctifiers of your name, rest on it. Blessed are you, O Lord, who sanctifies the Shabbat. Amen. Thank you for showing respect to the word of God while the Torah scroll is brought out by facing, by facing the scroll during the procession and standing for the reading of the Torah, participating in the service, we may reach out to the to touch a Torah cover during the procession. Tamor 
Yiska Batsara La Torah. Come forward, Yiska, daughter of Sarah, to the Torah. There is none like you, O Lord, among the gods that are worshipped, and there are no deeds like yours. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures through all generations. Source of mercy, let your goodness be a blessing to Zion. Let Jerusalem be rebuilt. In you alone do we trust, O sovereign God, high and exalted. Lord of all the worlds. And it came to pass whenever the ark went forth, Moshe would say, Rise up, Lord, and scatter your enemies, and may those who hate you run from you. Torah will go forth out of Zion and the Lord's word from Jerusalem. Blessed is he who in his holiness gave Torah to his people Israel. By by Ben Soa, Haron by Omer, Moshe, Kuma Adonai, Beahusu Oveja, Beanusu Mesaneja, Mipaneja, Kimitzion, Tetse Torah.
Shalom. Bar Huet Adonai Hambura. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaYamim, Venatalanu Et Orato. Baruch Ata Adonai, Noten HaTorah. Amen. Bless the Lord, the Blessed One. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the Universe, who has chosen us from all peoples and given us His Torah. Blessed are you, O Lord, Giver of the Torah. This week's Parsha is Naso from uh, Bar Midbar Numbers seven, uh, 421 through 789. We will be reading 421 in Hebrew, and then the reading for today is um, 784 through 89. Vaidaber Adonai El Moshe Lemor Naso Et Et Rosh Bene Geshon Gamhem Le Levat Levit Levat Levat um, Avotam uh, Lemish Pechotam Lemish, Lemish Pechotam This Torah portion, Naso, literally means to lift up. Naso is the longest Parsha in all of the Torah. Naso ends with these words. And when Moshe went into the tent of meeting to speak with the Lord, he heard the voice speaking to him from above the mercy seat. That was on the Ark of the Testimony from between the two cherubim, and it spoke to him. Moshe was an extraordinary person, Israel's great prophet, priest, and king. His life can be divided into three great distinct periods of 40 years each. First, he was raised as an Egyptian and lived as a prince of Egypt, the Egyptian period, 40 years. Second, he fled the land, of, he fled the land to Midian, where he became a shepherd and encountered God in the desert, the Midianite period, 40 years. And third, after the great deliverance of Egypt, Moshe led the people back to Sinai, where he became the mediator of the covenant between Hashem and Israel. He communicated the various laws of Torah and received the prophetic vision of the tabernacle, the future exile, and ultimately the glory of Zion. Moshe was an amazing man in the sense that he transcended the entire system of religion that was later to become established as Judaism. As first, the great legislator, Moshe stood outside the law, serving as a voice of authority. Second, as the high priest of Israel, he instituted various sacrifice, sacrificial rites before the laws of sacrifice were put into effect. For example, he instituted the Passover sacrifice in Egypt, Exodus 12, 1 through 11. And when our people reached Sinai, he offered blood sacrifices to establish the terms of the covenant. Exodus 24, 8. He ascended the mountain to receive the prophetic vision of the sanctuary before priesthood had even been instituted. Exodus 25, 8 through 9. And even after the laws of the priests were established and the tabernacle was erected, Moshe was allowed to go before the very holy of holies to hear the voice of the Lord, even though technically speaking, it was forbidden since Moshe was not a Kohen, meaning a descendant of Aaron. Now Yeshua, who was from the tribe of Judah, served as Israel's high priest of the renewed covenant. The book of Hebrews says that the role of Malik Zedek, Malik Zedek's priesthood is ascribed to King Yeshua. Hebrew 5, 6 through 11 and 7, 1 through 19. 
But it is important to realize that Moshe himself foresaw the coming of Messiah as Israel's great prophet, priest, and king. Deuteronomy 18, 15 through 19, and John 5, 36. Just as Moshe was outside the law, for lack of better words, by serving as Israel's priest, but nevertheless was commissioned by Hashem, Yeshua, who set into motion the sacrifice of his blood as the Lamb of God, and who was directly before God's throne to intercede on our behalf, like the patriarch Yosef before him, Moshe was a picture of Yeshua in many ways. Though he was a Jew from the tribe of Levi, he appeared as a prince of Egypt to his own people and was, and was educated in all the wisdom of the Egyptians, Acts 7.22. And though he was God's chosen deliverer, Moshe was first rejected by the Israelites and then turned to the Gentiles, taking a foreign bride. After being severely tested in the desert, he was empowered by the Ruach to become Israel's deliverer. Both Moshe and Yeshua were sent from a mountain of God to free Israel. Both revealed um, um, the meaning of God's name. Both spoke with Hashem face to face. Moshe was sent from Mount Sinai in Midian, and Yeshua was sent from Mount Zion in heaven. Hebrews 12.22 The Brit Chadashah says that Moshe and Eliyahu later met with Yeshua to discuss his departure, literally his exodus. That would be fulfilled in Jerusalem to redeem the entire world. Luke 9, 30 through 31. I say all that to say this, Mishpacha. Like Moshe, who established things while serving, being chosen by God himself, each one of you here today has been chosen as well. You heard the call and you answered, Here I am, Lord, Hineni. But are you doing as our forefathers have shown? going above and beyond to make sure you have helped? Are you being the voice of reason to someone in need? Are you, like the Torah portion says, lifting up? Are you? Let us all be found doing Hashem's work as he gazes upon us. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher natan lanu et Torah emet Vehaye olam nata betochenu Baruch atah Adonai Notein ha Torah Amen Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us the Torah of truth and planted eternal life in our midst. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the Torah. Please rise up for the Besot. As we lift to the Torah, we point with a little finger. We point with a little finger to show that the smallest, nevertheless, we serve a great and mighty Heavenly Father, the Creator of the heavens and the earth. And we thank Him for our Lord and Savior, Lord Yeshua. And this is the Torah that Moshe placed before the children of Israel at the command of the Lord through Moshe's hand. And that we find in Devarim 
who selected good prophets and was pleased with their words, which were spoken truthfully. Blessed are you, O Lord, who chooses the Torah, your servant Moshe, your people Israel, and prophets of truth and righteousness. Today's reading is Judges 13, 2 to 25. Now, there was a certain man from Sorah, from a Danite clan, whose name was Manoah, his wife was barren and bore no children. Then the angel of Adonai appeared to the woman and said to her, Behold, now you are barren and have not born children, but you will conceive and bear a son. Now therefore, be careful not to drink wine or strong drink or eat any unclean thing. For behold, you will conceive and bear a son. Let no razor come upon his head. For the boy will be a Nazarite to God from the womb. He will begin to deliver Israel from the hand of the Philistines. Then the woman came and told her husband, saying, A man of God came to me, and his appearance was like appearance of an angel of God. Very ha awesome, sorry. <laughs> but I did not ask him where was he was from, nor did he tell me his name. He said to me, Behold, you will conceive and bear a son. So drink no wine or strong drink, and eat nothing unclean. For the child will be a Nazarite to God from the womb to the date of his death. Then Manoah entreated Adonai and said, My Lord, please, let the man of God whom you have sent come to us again and teach us what we will do for the boy to be born. God listened to the voice of Manoah, and the angel of God came again to the woman as she was sitting in the field, but her husband Manoah was not with her. So the woman ran quickly and told her husband and said to him, Look, the man that came to me the other day has appeared to me. So Manoah got up and followed his wife. When he came to the man, he asked him, Are you the one who spoke to the woman? I am, he said. Then Manoah said, Now you may your words come about. What will be the, the child's rule and his mission? The angel of Adonai said to Manoah, Let the woman abstain from all that I mentioned to her. She should not eat anything that comes from the grapevine, nor drink wine or strong drink, or eat any unclean thing. She must observe all that I command her. Then Manoah said to the angel of Adonai, Please, let us detain you so that we may prepare a young goat for you. But the angel of Adonai said to Manoah, If you could detain me, I will not eat your food. But if you present a burnt offering, then offer it to Adonai. For Manoah did not realize that he was the angel of Adonai. Then Manoah asked the angel of Adonai, What is your name? So that when your words come to pass, we may honor you. But the angel of Adonai said to him, why do you ask for my name? It is wonderful. Manoah took the young goat with a meal offering and offered them on the rock to Adonai. And he did something wonderful as Manoah and his wife, wife were watching. For it came about when the flame went up from the, from the off the altar towards the heaven that the angel of Adonai ascended in the flame of the altar. Manoah and his wife were looking on. Then they fell on their faces to the ground. But the angel of Adonai appeared no more to Manoah or to his wife. Then Manoah realized that he was the angel of Adonai. Manoah said to his wife, We will surely die because we have seen God. But his wife said to him, If Adonai has desired to kill us, he will not have accepted a burnt offering and a meal offering from our hand. 
nor will have shown all these things or let us hear such things as this at this time. Then the woman bore his son and called his name Samson. So the boy grew up and Adonai blessed him. The Ruach Adonai began to stir him in Mahanedan between Sorah and Eshtal. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Sur koholamim Zadik behochadorot Ha'el haneman Ha'omer biosei Ha'medaber ubekayehem Shekol debarak Emet basedek Ne'eman Atahu Adonai Eloheinu Benemanim debareja Bedabareja armit bareja Ahor lo yashub rekan Ki el melek neman Berahaman ata Baruch ata Adonai Ha'el haneman Behol de barak Blessed are you, O Lord our God King of the universe Rock of all eternities Faithful in all generations The trustworthy God Who says and does Who speaks and makes it come to pass All of whose words are true and righteous Faithful are you, O Lord, our God, and faithful are your words, for not one word of yours is turned back unfulfilled. For you are faithful and compassionate God and King. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, the God who is faithful in all his words. Blessed to you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us Messiah Yeshua. <clears throat> Who has given us Messiah Yeshua and the commandments of the renewed covenant? Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the renewed covenant. And today's reading is Luke 1 11 through 20. An angel of Adonai appeared to him, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. Zechariah was in turmoil when he saw the angel, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your prayers have been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will give birth to a son, and you will name him John, and you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. He will be great before Adonai, and he should not drink wine and intoxicating beverage, but he shall be filled with the Ruach HaKodesh just out of his mother's womb. Many of B'nai Israel will turn to Adonai, their God. And he will go before them in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of fathers to the children and disobedient ones to the wisdom of the righteous, of righteousness and to make ready for Adonai a prepared people. Zechariah said to the angel, how will I know this for certain? I am an old man and my wife is well advanced in age. And speaking to him, 
the angel declared, I am Gabriel, the one standing in God's presence. I am commissioned to tell you and to proclaim this good news. So look, you will be silent, powerless to speak until the day these things happen, since you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time. Amen. Amen. Blessed to you, O Lord, our God, giver of the renewed covenant. Blessed to you, O Lord, our God. And please join me for the Etz Hayim. life to those who take hold of her and all who support her are praiseworthy. Its ways are ways of pleasantness and all its paths are peace. Return us, O Lord, to you and we shall return. Renew our days as in the days of old. May he who blessed our forefathers, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yahweh, Bless those who come to honor God in the Torah. May the Holy One send blessings upon them and upon their families and upon all the works of their hands. Amen. May our eyes behold your return to Zion with compassion. Blessed are you, O Lord, who restored his presence to Zion. Grant peace, goodness, and blessing, grace, kindness, and mercy to us and to all pe your people, Israel. Bless our Father, all of us together, through the light of your presence. Truly, through the light of your presence, Adonai, our God, you gave us a Torah of life. Love of kindness, justice, and blessing, mercy, life, and peace. May you see fit to bless your people, Israel, at all times, at every hour, with your peace. Shabbat Shuvah, inscribe us for life, blessing peace and prosperity, remembering all your people, Israel, for life and peace. Blessed are you, Adonai, source of peace. And may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable before you, Adonai, my rock and redeemer. Shabbat Shalom.
Shabbat Shalom to those of you at home or wherever you may be. From me and Yuri, good Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom, buddy. How are you doing? Shabbat Yeah. 
right. Those of you watching, you don't know, but they were just worshiping Hashem right there. And it was amazing to worship Hashem. Wasn't that amazing to worship Hashem? Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. All right. We're about to go into the next portions of service, uh, but before we do, <laughs> I feel the same way sometimes. Uh, <laughs> that expression was great. All right. Uh, I don't see Sister Malka. He, oh, there she is. Sister Malka, you want to come and pray for the tithes and offerings before we, we dismiss the yellow deem? Now we make to you, brothers and sisters, the grace of our Heavenly Father has given to Messiah communities in Macedonia, that in much testing by affliction, the abundance of their joy and their extreme poverty overflowed in the wealth of generosity on their part. For I testify that according to their ability, and even beyond their ability, they gave of their own free will, begging us with much urging for the favor of sharing in the relief of the Kedoshim. Moreover, it was not just as we have hoped but they gave us themselves first to the Lord and then to us in keeping with our Heavenly Father's will. And that we find it in 2 Corinthians 8, 1 through 5. Heavenly Father, I thank you in the mighty name of our Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, Father, that you said to test you on this. And this is the only part, time that we can test you, Father, that we will never be able to overgive you. That whatever we give, it is multiplied. Our Father, I bring unto you all of those ones, Father, that are in need at this moment. Let and even on those ones, Father, that are providing for your kingdom, Father God, let it be multiplied. Bless them, Lord, abundantly in every area of their life, spiritual, physical, financial, Father, that they will see, Father, your hand, that all of their needs will be met. In the precious name of our Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Uh, amen. All right. Um, so those of you watching online or that will watch online, the link will be placed in the comment section below for you to be able to do your giving. Um, with that being said, uh, we're going to change gears here for a minute, okay? Those of you here, if you have lost a loved one within the past year, please rise. As we do, we have uh, Raf Cantor Hazan Raphael will be broadcasting in the Mourners Kaddish for some of the past loved ones who have went home this past year. Okay, so please rise out of, out of reverence and respect for those you have lost, as well as those other brothers and sisters of faith. That being said, you ready, dear? Okay. Those of you at home, go ahead and rise also in remembrance of your loved ones. A prayer originating in the Second Temple Times. It is a prayer of praise and messianic hope. It also, over the years, became a mourner's prayer. Why? In the words of one rabbi, the answer is found in Job 121. That verse reads, And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return there. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Please all rise for the Kaddish. Yip gadal vegit kadash amei raba Bial madil acherutei veyamlich malchutei Vichayi chondu veyome chondu vikayi dekor beit Yisrael Vagala 
He has created according to his will. May he establish his kingdom during your life and during your days and during the life of the whole house of Israel, even swiftly and soon, and we all say, Amen. Amen. Let his great name be blessed forever and to all eternity. Blessed, praised, and glorified, exalted, extolled and honored, magnified and lauded be the name of the Holy One. Blessed is he, though he be high above all the blessings and songs, praises and consolations which are uttered in the world, and we say, Amen. May he who makes peace in his high places make peace upon us and upon all Israel, and we say, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. And may your, the goodness and, and memory of your loved ones be a blessing and a source of inspiration and encouragement that you can pass on to the future generations. With that being said, miss you guys. Um, all the Yeladim class, go ahead and go with Sister Malka. And we'll go ahead and get right into right into today's drasha. Amen. I I hope you guys don't mind. I, I went ahead and took the liberty of of adding a one of the wonderful. So in Judaism, we share parables, right? This is how we teach, right? We share a, a story, and from the story, you grasp the concepts and the uh, and the point of it, right? Ideally. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a, a story in today's Josh. Okay. There was a particular man who had who was a net seer. Who had came from the south. Hey, how about that? Two and two, two for two. Let's see. Well, if it's three for three, I'm gonna go, okay? <laughs> And he went in to go see the rabbi for his community. And the rabbi had saw that the young man's eyes were downtrodden and that he had freshly shaved all of it. And so the rabbi said, what, what made you do such a thing? And he said, I was a shepherd for my father in the city and I went to draw water from the spring. And I saw my reflection in the water, 
and instantly my yetzer hara quickly overcame me and all i could think about was all the bad and all the things i didn't care for in this world bless you and instead of feeding into this wicked one, I rebuked it and said, why do you pride yourself on the world that doesn't even belong to you? When really, you're just going to end up worms and maggots. So the Netzer got up and went to seek out the rabbi. And the rabbi immediately kissed him and said, my brother, may there be more who take the vow of the Netzir. If this is what causes you to conviction, it is a blessing from Hashem. Now I say that to say this. There is a wonderful parable within this Torah portion itself. Between the Netzir and the sister who has, who is being in, in is under suspicion right there's a parallel between these two people and one of the parallels goes like this here's two people and one of them hears the word that that people are speaking negative about her right people are su just placing negativity, talking, chatting, all this, right? And so the sister with, that's in suspicion, oftentimes, more often than not, she falls further into suspicion because she further believes the gossip and the rumors and the slander. So she furthers herself from her kahila, from her people, from her assignment by God. The Netzir, on the other hand, mind you, they both witness the same issue, right? The Netzir, on the other hand, says, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Something's trying to get me off my track. Something's trying to distract me. So before I entertain these wicked thoughts, let me go consult a brother of faith. Do you see the difference? And again, this, this is simply from this Porsche, okay? But let's go further on. Blessings and good Shabbos to you all. Shabbat shalom. Parshat Natso, the Hebrew word for take a census or to uplift the word of the Torah, this within this actual portion is the oldest artifact of liturgy anywhere up to this point. It predates the, the Dead Sea Scrolls by at least 500 years, maybe more. What piece of liturgy did they find an artifact to? Which liturgy is it? Who can guess? Who's done this tour portion? Who? I will. <laughs> right, anybody but her. Right. <laughs> Who's read this Parsha? Phil, you read this Parsha? Going through the pages. I understand. No worries. I, I'm, I get there every now and again. So within this Torah portion, it's the one we say every single Sabbath, right? It's the same one that when Yeshua was ascending into heaven, he stretched out his hands and he pronounced a blessing over his Talmudim. Which blessing is it? No? May the Lord bless you and... May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be. Oh, y'all don't want to let go of the gracious part, right? Yo, everybody remembers that. And be gracious to me. Even if they're just listening to Caleb. And be gracious to me. They forget it's in the Torah. It's a blessing. But let's move on. So this predates the Dead Sea Scrolls by at least 500 years or better. It builds little by little, and we know this from the from how we say the blessing, right? Right? 
but it's building. It's building. Yeah. Nobody? And then you just keep going from there, right? It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't go down. But let me go on. So as the blessing is building, little by little, from, from the constant, actually from the consistency of putting it forward. And in the beginning, this blessing, it calls for the material blessings that Hashem would open up the windows of heaven and pour out for the things that we need. And then the blessing goes on. It goes from material blessing to divine protection, and then to divine favor, and then to finally that you should be spiritually blessed and covered. And in a beautiful climax, the blessing culminates in the petition for God's most precious gift, his shalom, his peace. In other words, that his welfare, his providence should be upon you. The welfare in which all material and spiritual well-being is comes into being, literally. So I can't use that line because I said, and what litur liturgical piece is this? But we already gave that part out. So, one. Uh, it is the very one that Yeshua proclaimed over his Talmudim as he ascended. In Luke 24, verse 50, then Yeshua led them out as far as Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and he blessed them. And while blessing them, he departed from them and was taken up into heaven. And after celebrating his victory, they departed from him. I'm sorry. After celebrating his victory, they returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And there, they continually were in the temple praising Hashem. It always goes back to Hashem. Amen? No matter how far off you go or how far away you drive, it always goes back to the Father. And it brings to, to mind that in each of the High Holy Days there's a special little acronym that refers to our Creator. At Shavuot there was an acronym. Who remembers what it was? Does anybody remember the acronym everybody read during Shavuot? No? There's a special name they call God. They don't call him this anywhere else. Anybody remember it? No? Here, I'll give it to you. Anochi. Alright? In English, it's phonetically spelled A-N-O-C-H-I. Phonetically, mind you. Probably not literally. But that in itself is an acronym. And broken down, it is these four Hebrew words. Ana, Nafshi, Ketovit, and Yehovit. You got that? No? Brother, you can you could repeat that back to me, can't you? Huh? Anna? Nafshi? Nafshi. All right, you ready? Ketovit? Yehovit. You got it now? With a Y instead of a K. Is it with a Y instead of a K. Instead of Ketovit, Yehovit. Right? So that's it, right? And in English, right? Because, okay, it's great, it's wonderful. I'm not going to use this in a conversation, but what does it mean in English, right? So in English, the literal translation is, I wrote my very soul down and gave it to you. This is the exact 
definition of when he gives his Torah, I wrote my soul down and I gave it to you. But in a more poetic sense, as the rabbis prefer to word it, myself included, my soul is inscribed in these words that I give to you. In other words, there is his actual power in each and every single one of those letters that are written in this book and in the scroll that was here previously. So Hashem says, I, I inscribe my soul in these words and I have presented them to you as our ketubah, right? What is the Torah? It's his marriage contract between him and us, between a God and his creation. They remind me of, of the boys when they're out hunting Pokemon. Let's move on. God bless them. So how amazing is that, that our God, the God of all, the very creator of literally everything, the author of our salvation, has placed his very essence within his words of instruction for us, that we should prosper, that we should grow, that we should benefit. But let's move along. In this week's study of Avoda, if you don't know what the word Avoda means, uh, service. That's the best way to describe it in our service to the king. So when they say, Avodas Hashem, our service to the king, right? That's what this means. So our service covers threefold. It's how we carry ourselves, how we behave, right? How we are in public, and how we are in private. Those three, right? Because in all things we should serve. Yes. But let me get into the actual point within this study. The first Ten Commandments, <clears throat> excuse me, the first of the Ten Commandments is to acknowledge and believe that Hashem is our God and that there is none other and that He is the Creator and Master of all. In Parshas Bereshit 27a, the word is expounded upon to work it, God says, and to guard it. What is He talking about? The garden, right? Or for us in this context, He's talking about our lives, right? Our kahila, our community. It, it goes first, your homes, your kahila, your community. And then it just keeps going out from there, right? So in each of those, we try and be a good uh, witness, a good steward of his word. But let me go on in that. So it says, to work it and to guard it. Now, what does this mean by saying to work it and guard it? Is this in the typical sense? Were there a bunch of people trying to bum rush into the Garden of Eden? Is that what was happening? They were just there at the gates like, let's go, let's go, let's go. If Adam slips once, I'm in. I am in. Is that what it is? <laughs> they had to watch out with the... But... It doesn't actually mean that, does it? Because there wasn't a lot for them to guard it from, was there? I mean, kick the snake out? That's kind of already going to happen. The guard against what, right? Was there? Because you would think that, oh, there's are trespassers, right? Is that what it is? People are just running by trying to take the fruit off of his two precious trees? Life and knowledge? But no, it's not that either. So then what is it? What is it? Let's see. It is not to protect against trespassers, but rather to work it means that we should set our hearts and our minds on the mitzvah obligations. How about that? Wait, what mitzvah obligations did Adam and Eve have at this point? What were they, what were they charged to do at this point? Were they charged to do anything at this point? 
There's something that they were charged that all of us have been charged to do since the very thought of our creation. Let's go into it. All right, so let's go to Isaiah 43, verse 21, where it says, and I quote, This people I have fashioned for myself that they may declare my what is it? Huh? That they may declare my praise. praise. Yes. So this people that I have fashioned for myself, that they may de might declare my praise. This is our principal mitzvah. Our mitzvah obligation, the one that has been since Adam and Eve, is to keep the name of God holy. To praise Him. Now, Okay, this is what it means to guard, right? What was the other? To work it. Well, I'm sorry, the other one was to work it. And to guard it means to what then? If we're working it by fulfilling our mitzvah obligations to praise Hashem in what we're doing and what we're endeavoring on, What, what, what would it be to guard it? If working it is praising God, what is guarding it? Usually it's the opposite of praise. Okay? Just so you know. Usually it's the opposite of praise. It's what's at the other end. It's what we did a challenge of for 40 days, and I'm not even sure how many people actually did the challenge. In 40 days, we're not complained at all. Nobody's going to complain. Everyone went, all you heard was crickets. <laughs> Who's doing the challenge? How's it going with it? I think they have a special at H-E-B, two for one, holla. Get it today. But it was that, it was that quiet, you know? Is, that, is it that hard to rebuke the adversary from out of your vocabulary? Is it really that hard to just keep him out of there? And I get it. I get it. But you don't understand. I'm not complaining. I'm just sharing. Hey, so did 10 other spies, and that didn't go so well for them, okay? That's all I'm going to say. There was 10 other spies, and they gave a horrible report, and guess how they ended up. But let me prove it to you, because I... I, I Low be it for me not to prove it to you. Okay. So our obligation at this point is to praise our Elohim. Doing so is in part executed in how well we treat one another. Amen? This is also a form of our praise. How we conduct ourselves around other of His children. With kindness and consideration, with understanding, or with disdain and frustration or annoyance. I'll let you pick which one of those are from God and which ones are not. In Hebrews 13 and 16, the Word of God says, But do not forget doing good and sharing with others for such sacrifices please Hashem. Obey the leaders that God has given you and submit to them, for they have been charged with your life as people who will have to render an account. So make it a task of joy for them. Don't be that guy. <laughs> In Second Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9, Adonai says, For the eyes of Adonai... Now pay attention to this, okay? This part's probably important, and I pray you catch it. For the eyes of Adonai range throughout the earth and throughout creation to strengthen those whose hearts are wholeheartedly His. He continues. Here's the part you have to watch for. You have acted foolishly. 
Instead of compl- instead of praising, what did they probably do? Complain. So therefore, Hashem says, and I quote, From now on, all you will know is war. Is that the kind of life you want? Is that the life you want? Just tension and arguments and fighting and struggling and strife. If that's the kind of life you want, then, you know, yarmulke's off to you, but please stay a few feet away from where I'm dwelling. Thank you. (laughs) I don't need any stars falling from the sky. So, and, and you read that one simple passage, right? God's, he was ever attentive to them, but they didn't take heart to praise him in the moments of the journey but rather they chose to feed right and act foolish I, hey look I get it when I'm upset I, I can act foolish I get it does this excuse the behavior no by no means I still have to come clean and, and say hey I was sorry I'm wrong this and that right and make amends but it doesn't excuse the behavior, because you are a son of God. You are a daughter of God. Son of God, daughter of God, daughter of God, daughter of God, son of God, and so on. So conduct yourself at that level, right? And putting out the same stuff that you really desperately need. Let me go on. For when we are not wholehearted with our Elohim, then our lives have within them only war. And literally, ask somebody who's done ministry about the wars that they have faced internally. It's not even out here. It's arguing with yourself because your flesh doesn't want to get with it. Or nobody's going to believe in you. Nobody's going to... Who are you? You're a child of God. That's, that's where you need to start. You're a son of God. He's giving you his eternal Torah that it should be your guide. Or let me say it differently. He has given you his precious Yeshua so that you should have guidance. But let me go on. So treat one another as Hashem's children. I will say this. There is a yearning. And I remember this as far back as I've been serving the king. Hashem is calling all of His creation this season to worship Him, to begin to have a relationship with Him. His Word says, All that the canker worm has eaten or stolen shall be restored unto you this season and in the seasons to come. So trust Him. Know who your God is. When a person who has a bad desire or impression, they either do one of two things. They fulfill it or they shun it. And this brings back to the example of the Netzir and the sister. Some people can't control themselves. They sin now and feel bad later. The Gomorrah says a wise person is one who projects the present into the future and prepares for it. Why wait till you're overcome with, de- with desire or the risk of following, falling spiritually? King David says, I acknowledge my sin to you, God, and my iniquity I do not try to hide. 
He says, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and He forgives the guilt of my sin. John, the beloved disciple, says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and righteous to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen? Amen. So start this week. Sometimes we get distracted in life. Dig back into your relationship with your Creator and with His salvation. Set your hand to the fields of your life and may His praise be ever upon your lips. For whatever kahila or assembly you belong to or where Hashem has assigned you, dig in. For most shuls, it's really only a, a requirement of a few hours per week. So show up. I promise you, and I promise you, promise you, promise you, people watching, people here, just by you showing up at some, at whatever kahila it is, your presence alone encourages somebody during that meeting. You're showing up that day, encourage somebody there or somebody who is somehow along the way. Your life is a source of encouragement. So show up. <laughs> and every now and again, show up. <laughs> Changing the world starts with each and every one of our own homes. And then it spreads on to our kahilas and then to our communities. Get excited that you have been given salvation. Anticipate that this is a time that the Creator set aside just for you. The word compares speaking negative or gossiping to witchcraft. So what words are you investing in your life? Are they words of blessing and growth? Maybe a rebuke every now and again, as needed. But nothing negative, right? Just make the adjustment and move forward, right? And let it not be found that gossip or even us thinking negative about ourselves has a place within your life. Changing the world starts with each one of you. So set the tone and the pace for your life. If it's avodah Hashem, service of God, praise God. If it's to walk in the footsteps of Moshiach, praise God. They're really one and the same. So dig in. Wherever you see a gap, Fill it. That's your spot. And praise Him and work the field all your days. With that being said, <laughs> you can follow the example of the sister who was under suspicion, or you can follow the example of the Netzir. When things are facing you. Will you run further away from the light, further seeking advice and such? Or will you turn to brothers and sisters of faith, to the Word, to God? Wherever you turn is what's going to pour into your life. So make sure you're doing all the math before you make any choices. With that being said, good Shabbos. Thank you, Hazan Raphael, for calling in the, the bracha for the brothers and sisters who have passed on. And again, happy birthday to our dear brother James and those brothers and sisters who aren't here. Our hearts, our prayers, and our thoughts are with you guys, as well as those of you who are here and those of you who are online. With that being said, uh, we're really excited for these upcoming seasons. 
and the things that are on their way. With that being said, uh, that's the end of today's Joshua. I, I think I was going to share a story, but I didn't. So I don't know if we have time for that or not. Is everybody in a rush? You have time for like a 10 minute story? 10 minute story? You're okay? Okay. All right. I'll get you a story. This is fun. Mm. Ah, there it is. And I, I conveniently labeled it story for Naso. So there we go. It was impossible to mix, miss. So there was a young Netzir, and he went to go see a rabbi because he had confronted his, his Yetzir Hara. I already told the story. I'm sorry. With that being said, have a good Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom. God bless you guys. Love you all. And uh, yeah, have a blessed week. And the blessing over the Kiddush. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei priya gafen Amen Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. Amen. Let me redo that, guys. We have we have apple juice. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei pri haaretz. When you see the old ones, there was no switch. It just didn't matter. The Hamotzi. Baruch atarnai Eloheinu melech haolam Hamotzi lechem min haaretz Amen Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the bread from the earth in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Okay, and the children's blessing, if we could have all the future leaders, if you all gather right, right here, um, yeah, right over here off to the side, thank you, Phil, thank you, Pankas, see, they weren't playing, they got the blessing over there, they were not playing at all. May God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. Yisim Elohim Kisara Rivka Rachel Vilea. May God make you like Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. May the Lord protect and defend you. May 
Let's go ahead and do the ironic benediction, and nothing's going to quiet us Amen. in this. Amen. Here we go. All right. All right. Uh, Michael. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I need one to read the English. Who's going to read the English? <laughs> Mikhail, you going to read the English for me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I want to read the English. Well, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to try and, all right, why don't you use your, your big boy outside voice when we do this part, okay? You're going to do the, the English. Hold this up right there, just hold it right there for all of us, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't make okay. Us see. Oh, get in there! You want to come up here? You want to come up here? All right, we'll go over there with them. All right. All right. Keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. And then there we are sure. Amen. 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 There you go. And a bot handed. All right. All right. With that being said, those of you at home, have a wonderful and blessed Shabbos. And please. Tune into our, any of our online stuff and do your part from there. That being said, we are very excited about things coming up, but we can't announce them just yet. So, good job, Shabbat Shalom. Have a blessed and restful week. <laughs>